Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. However, whenever you are watching this Saturday quiz, thank you very much for joining us and playing along with it today. Um, so if you've just, well, you won't have just watched it because um, it would have been about 48 hours for you guys. But from the Thursday quiz, um, for me, it's literally five minutes. So I've gone and finished the Thursday quiz, uh, taking a breather, taking some Benelin and push the button and then come straight into uh, into the Saturday quiz. So, uh, yeah, for you guys, um, it's been a bit of time for me. No, it's not. Um, it's literally straight after. So that if you're watching Thursday's quiz, that tickly cough thing that for some reason was starting to kick in towards the end of Thursday night's quiz is still here because uh, for me, it's only been five minutes. Um, so, yeah, apologies if I start coughing my lungs up but I don't know what it is but I've just run downstairs and grabbed some Benelin before I push record uh, so no idea what it is but hey ho uh, we'll get through this uh, so as always 50 questions for you on this Saturday evening uh, one sec yeah 50 questions for you on this Saturday evening as always um a grid style for break one and the return of some dingbats. I found some uh, some ones from the resource that I was sent uh, so we'll have some dingbats for break two as well is not a good start really i'm trying to work out whether i'm going to cough sneeze or what anyway right we'll get into it so grab your pens grab your pieces of paper grab your friends family or if you're playing on your own get yourselves sorted uh it is time and welcome along to this saturday the 29th of april quiz uh feels very weird for me having just finished one to pre-recording the next one but anyway we'll do this as we always do so entertainment's where we're going to start with it tonight 10 random questions starting with this for number one uh which of these has not sung a james bond song is it Adele Tom Jones or Elton John so which of these has not sung an Elton uh, sung an Elton John song which which of these has not sung a James Bond song is it Adele Tom Jones or Elton John Uh, number two, which TV police drama started life as a play called Wooden Top on a TV show called Storyboard? So which TV police drama started life as a play called Wooden Top on a TV show called Storyboard? I really should get more comfortable before I push the record button, but anyway, we'll get Question number three, which former Spice Girl had solo hits with What I Am, uh, What Took You So Long, and Free Me. So which former Spice Girl had solo hits with What I Am, What Took You So Long, and Free Me. Uh, number four, in which cartoon would you find the cars, the compact pussycat, the turbo terrific and the buzz wagon? So in which cartoon would you find the cars, the compact pussycat, the turbo terrific and the buzz wagon? Number five, which animal is associated with the logo of the film studio MGM? So which animal is associated with the logo of the film studio MGM? After Jack knocked my microphone off on, um, on, well, the previous quiz for you guys. Oh, after Jack knocked it down, I can't get it back in the right position. Mm -hmm. 
Question number six, Michael Evis is the founder of which long running music festival? So Michael Evis is the founder of which long running music festival? Number seven, what was the name of ventriloquist Keith Harris's Green Duck Puppet? So what was the name of ventriloquist Keith Harris's Green Duck Puppet? Number eight, the 1983 movie Staying Alive was the sequel to which 1977 film? So the 1983 movie Staying Alive was the sequel to which 1977 film? Uh, number nine, in which decade was the first ever Eurovision Song Contest held? So in which decade was the first ever Eurovision Song Contest held? And finally, number 10, in which year was Hallelujah by Alexandra Burke the biggest single? The Dark Knight was the highest grossing film and the, in, uh, and the TV show The Inbetweeners made its debut. So in which year was Hallelujah, Alexandra Burke the biggest single? The Dark Knight was the highest grossing film and The Inbetweeners made its TV debut. Uh, round two then with a bit of science and nature for you. Kicking off with this, number one. What is the name of the measurement that the distance light travels in one year is called? Don't overthink it. Uh, what is the name of the measurement that the distance light travels in one year is called? Number two, what is the largest joint in the body? What is the largest joint in the body? Uh, number three, by which letter is ascorbic acid better known? So by which letter is ascorbic acid better known?
Number four, what is the name of a young lion? So what is the name of a young lion? Number five, what do the what does the internal angles of a triangle add up to? I didn't say some of these were difficult. Uh, what does the internal angles of a triangle add up to? Number six, how many tentacles does an octopus have? So how many tentacles does an octopus have? Number seven, the four main blood groups are A, B, O, and which other? So the four main blood groups are A, B, O, and which other? Number eight, what is the collective noun for a group of chickens? Adult chickens, just to make it a bit more specific. But do remember, when I come around to the answers, you are marking these yourselves. So if you want to argue your point with your teams that you're playing against, yeah, that's fine. Number nine, in computing, MS-DOS, what does the D stand for? So in computing, MS-DOS, what does the D stand for? And your final science in nature number 10, the mythical creature of the griffin has the head of which animal? So the mythical creature of the griffin has the head of which animal? Okay, round three is crossword clues. You're quite enjoying these from what I've seen. So um, another week of these and then I'll think about it next week as to what I'm going to do. Uh, these are all music artists to give you the clue for them. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Just a caveat on some of these. Uh, there are one or two that, um, so where I've put the, you know, the, um, like a crossword where I put the numbers for each word on them. Uh, the small caveat is there might be some numbers included. Now, I know you don't necessarily get crossword uh, crosswords with numbers in, but I've gone down that road for this. So instead of writing out the number, because it wouldn't make sense with one of the bands, uh, so instead of writing out the number in full as a word, I've just gone with the number. Okay, I'm hoping that makes sense. Number one, uh, this artist sounds like a bag of a popular chocolate. <laughs> I quite like writing these. These are quite fun to write, actually. Uh, the, this artist sounds like a bag of a popular chocolate. Maybe that's my next step. Maybe I should like branch out into crosswords. I'm quite enjoying writing these clues. So.
Number two, according to the title of the 1968 film, Where What Dare? So according to the title of the 1968 film, Where What Dare? Number three, this band will certainly gather no moss. So this band will certainly gather no moss. I said, I'm quite enjoying writing these. Uh, number four, uh, and you? Yeah, I've just realised what I've done on that one. <laughs> uh, and you? Number five, Red Cinco. So Red Cinco. Number six, a coastal town in Lancashire combined with a three-quarter length raincoat. So a coastal town in Lancashire combined with a three-quarter length raincoat. I think I'm enjoying these more than you guys are, if I'm honest, but I'm loving writing them. They're great fun. Find the topic, find the questions. Well, find the topic, find the answers, and then write the questions for them in a cryptic manner. It's great. I need to get out more. Uh, number seven, play. <laughs> Again, I love this one. Playing games outside in the freezing weather could be descri descri described. Playing games outside in the freezing weather could be described as what? Number eight, William, Harry, Edward, etc. So William, Harry, Edward, etc. Number nine, it's not about the destination, but the what to get there. So it's not about the destination, but the what to get there. And your final one, number 10, the first book of the Bible. So the first book of the Bible for number 10. Okay, so there we go. That is your first... Oh, I've just realised what I've done. Uh, that is your first um, 30 questions this evening. Uh, so I'm going to take a short break. I just need to change the title on there because that's wrong. Uh, find... I don't know if I've spelled that right, but we'll just go with that. Uh, right, yeah, so for your first break, another grid of 16. Uh, there are hidden in there, uh, and for all the Disney fans who keep saying I'm neglecting them, uh, so in the grid, there are eight Disney princesses hidden. All you need to do is find the eight Disney princesses. Uh, that one there, I need to reset this up. So that on there, that on there, that one on there, that one on there, and I will see you in around seven minutes. See you after this.
Okay, right, uh, I'll flick the button in a minute and put the green answers up on the screen in just a moment's time. Don't know why I'm singing that. Hmm. I was going to say, but I'm... <laughs> So as I'm recording this, the uh, Tottenham United game is still ongoing at the moment. And I don't know. Don't actually know the score. By the time I, you've watched this, I will know the score. But Anyway, right. Let's flick the button. Let's put these green in three, in two, in one. There you go. Uh, so I think this was probably pretty much straightforward apart from uh, one. So we've got Ariel, uh, Tiana, Jasmine, Mulan. Uh, Briar Rose, which is otherwise known as Aurora, which is otherwise known as Sleeping Beauty. Uh, Rapunzel. Merida. And Belle Atwell. Do, 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 do. Okay, right. Uh, answers coming up then in just a moment for the first part of the quiz. Do, do, do. Making sure I'm on the right screen. I am. What's the problem when literally I've finished recording, finished doing Thursday's quiz and then straight into this? I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. Well, as you're watching this, I, I will have, well, hang on, I'm trying to think. Quarter past eight, Saturday night. Yeah, the party will have been well finished by then. If the party's still going, then Jack is real rock and roll. Um, but yeah, so it's Jack and Sarah's birthday. As you watched it, well, if you're watching this on Saturday, then yeah, as you watch it, it is um, Jack and Sarah's birthday. So we've been having a party for the little tiny terror. Uh, eight of his school friends are running riots around the house. So I'm probably actually right now, probably put, trying to put the house back together. Anyway, right, let's give the answers to the first part of the quiz. Your first 30 questions. Let's see how you did with these. We started with entertainment and this, number one. Uh, which of these has not sung a James Bond song? Uh, it was Elton John. I think I might have accidentally given away the answer by messing up my words. Number two, its TV drama started life as a play called Wooden Top on a TV show called Storyboard. It was The Bill. Number three, which former Spice Girl had solo hits with What I Am, What Took You So Long, and Free Me. It was Emma Bunton. Number four, in which cartoon would you find the cars, the compact pussycat, the turbo terrific, and the buzz wagon? It is Wacky Races. You know, Wikipedia's got an actual breakdown of who, uh, where they all finished in each of the races that were shown. And number five, which animal is associated with the logo of the film studio? MGM. Oh, it's a lion. Sorry, I'm on answers, aren't I? <laughs> well, don't try and pre-record this after doing another one. Uh, it is a lion for number five. Number six, Michael Evis is the founder of which long-running music festival is Glastonbury? Uh, number seven, what was the name of ventriloquist Keith Harris's green duck puppet? It's Orville. Uh, number eight, the 1983 movie Staying Alive was the sequel to which 1977 film? It is Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> it just looks like my hand's coming. Yeah, never mind. Number nine, in which decade was the first ever Eurovision Song Contest? It was the 50s. <clears throat> and in which year was Hallelujah, Alexandra Burke, the biggest single? The Dark Knight was the highest grossing film and the in-between has made its TV debut. It was 2008. Science and Nature, number one. What is the name of the measurement that the distance light travels in one year is called? It's a light year. I did say don't overthink it. If you're throwing things at the TV now, I'm not being blamed for that. Number two, what is the largest joint in the body? It is the knee. Number three, by which letter is ascorbic acid better known? It is C, vitamin C. Number four, 
Number four, what is the name of a young lion? It is a cub. Number five, what do the internal angles of a triangle add up to? It's 180. Again, not overthinking it. Number six, how many tentacles does an octopus have? There are eight tentacles, although they're starting to be called limbs as well now. Um, I think it's, was it six arms and two legs or something? Uh, but yeah, eight tentacles. Number seven, the four main blood groups are A, B, O and A, B. Number eight, what is the collective noun for a group of chickens? Now, I've put this on there. Uh, it's a flock. So collective, the collective noun for a group of chickens is flock. Chicks are the collective noun for a group of chicks is brood or chattering. However, as I said, you're marking yourselves. I'm not there to referee tonight because it's pre-recorded. So if you want to have an argument amongst yourselves and work it out, then give yourselves a point. If you think you're right, then, you know, it's up to you. Number nine in computing MS-DOS, what does the D stand for? It is DISC. Microsoft DISC operating system. And number 10, the mythical creature of the griffin has the head of which animal? It is the eagle. And so to your crossword clues then, number one, this artist sounds like a bag of a popular chocolate, Eminem. <laughs> <clears throat> These get worse. Number two, according to the title of the 1968 film, where eagles dare. Uh, number three, this band will certainly gather no moss. It's the Rolling Stones. If you don't get that, it's because the saying is a Rolling Stone gathers no moss. Number four, <laughs> and you. I've kind of put the answer in the question, because if you take out the question mark, it's there. But it is you too. Oh, I've just thought of a better way I could have done that. I could have turned around and said, um, if you were cloned side by side. No, never mind. Uh, number five, Red Cinco uh, is Maroon 5. Cinco being the Spanish for five. I just picked Spanish. I just... Uh, number six, a coastal town in Lancashire combined with a three-quarter length raincoat is Fleetwood Mac. Number seven, playing games outside in the freezing weather could be described as cold play. I'm sorry, I enjoyed I enjoyed that one. And I'm yeah. Number eight, William, Harry, Edward, etc. is Prince. Number nine, it's not about the destination, but the journey to get there. Obviously never driven on the M25, have they? Uh, and number 10, the first book of the Bible is Genesis. So. So there you have it. Now I've coughed. Uh, there you have it. That's your first 30 so far on the door. Uh, still to come connections and general knowledge tonight as always. So they are still to come and some dingbats for round uh, for your second break as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so just type your scores up normally. This is what I normally, this is why I use social media as well. Because when I see, start seeing the scores coming through, I know I've allowed enough time for people to be totting up scores, arguing over points, etc. Uh, so I will just sit here and jibber for a minute <laughs> yeah jack and sarah's birthday uh as you watch this or whenever you're watching it uh on the 29th so yeah busy 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 weekend six year old can't believe that boy is six when i started the first quiz he was two was growing up and you've all seen him grow up as well, which I think is also quite sweet. And a lot, you know, I know a lot of you love when he pops into the quiz as well. So, yeah, I can't believe he was two when I started this. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, right. OK, I think I've left enough time. Let's get into it then. So uh, round four is connections tonight. Uh, nine questions. Question number 10. What links the answers together? Starting then with this for. Hello. Why won't you change? There we go. This for number one. According to the opening of Star Trek, what is said to be the final frontier? 
So according to the opening of Star Trek, what is said to be the final frontier? Number two, what is the name of a strong armoured glove with a long, loose wrist? So what is the name of a strong armoured glove with a long, loose wrist? Number three, which animal? Um, a male is a jack and a female is a jenny. Wasn't sure I'd written that, but there we go. Uh, which animal? A male is a jack and a female is a jenny. Number four, what M describes someone who is frantically busy or hectic? So what M describes someone who is frantically busy or hectic? Number five, what word would someone shout to get you out of the way of an object hurtling towards your head? So what word would someone shout to get you out of the way of an object hurtling towards your head? You know, like if you were in the room with Haley and an Easter egg was being launched in your direction because she wasn't happy with the connection round, what would you potentially shout as you saw that Easter egg heading towards you? Number six, death, destruction, or some other terrible fate could be described as impending what? So death, destruction, or some other terrible fate could be described as impending what? Number seven, a loud explosive noise caused by the shockwave from an aircraft is called what kind of boom? So a loud explosive noise caused by the shockwave from an aircraft is called what kind of boom? Number eight, a small rocky body orbiting the sun, sometimes called a little planet, are known as what? So a small rocky body orbiting the sun, sometimes called a little planet, are known as what? I mean, if you've got the link, it will help you narrow down. If you've got the connection, it will help you narrow down which of these it is. Number nine, what P is the informal word for a strong, unpleasant smell? So what P is, this, is the informal word for a strong, unpleasant smell?
And as always, question 10, what links them all together? What links all of those answers together? Right. <clears throat> Let's wrap tonight's quiz up then with general knowledge. Uh, starting then, 10 random questions, starting with this number one. Uh, the drink of sake is made from fermenting what? So the drink of sake is made from fermenting what? Number two, which board game has two sets of cards entitled Doctor and Specialist? So which board game has two sets of cards entitled Doctor and Specialist? Number three, popularly known as the pips, the Greenwich time signal consists of how many tones? So popularly known as the pips, the Greenwich time signal consists of how many tones? I'm not bothered if they're short or long. I just want how many tones in total. Number four, the 1940 Olympic Games were due to be held in which country, but cancelled owing to World War II? So the 1940 Olympic Games were due to be held in which country, but cancelled owing to World War II? Number five, what piece can move in an L shape in chess? So what piece can move in an L shape in chess? Number six, what is the colour of the cross on the flag of Denmark? So what is the colour of the cross on the flag of Denmark? Uh, number seven, weenophobia. Weenophobia. Weenophobia is the fear of which drink? Weenophobia. Oh, what's your phobia? Why? Weenoph <laughs> weenophobia is the fear of which drink? I mean, it is probably supposed to be pronounced the way it. But, um, yeah. Number eight, pharaohs were the ancient rulers of which ancient dynasty? So pharaohs were the ancient rulers of which ancient dynasty? Number nine, 
Number nine. How long in feet was the ark built by Moses? Yes, I have written that question correctly in terms of what I want. So how long in feet was the ark built by Moses? And your final question this evening, number 10, which chocolate bar had the slogan, just enough to give your kids a treat? So which chocolate bar had the slogan, just enough to give your kids a treat? Oh, it seems to be a lot of noise coming from downstairs. So I was just giving a kick to find out what's going on. Uh, right. So uh, the return of some dingbats. I've got sent some more through uh, over the last few weeks. So uh, I'm just setting them there now. So as always, say what you see. And I'll be back with you in seven minutes.
Okay, answers coming up. What have I done to myself at the top there? I put myself in a sort of like horizontal box rather than anyway. I'll just sit like this for a couple of minutes. Uh, I'll give you the answers. I'll give you the answers in just a moment's time. Yeah, I know. Um, I think Quizmaster Dot is Alan, the wonderful Alan over there. He's got some new dingbats I saw coming through. Uh, he's just put his uh, pages up saying uh, that he's got uh, under construction, so he's got a load more ding new dingbats coming through. So I'll drop him a message, see if I'm allowed to use those uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, but for now, yeah, someone sent me these. Said, "Have you seen these?" Um, so I dropped the guys that I got these from a message and said, "Can I pinch them?" And they said, "Yes, you can." Because as much I will bring back my drawings at some point, it's just finding time to actually sort of do them. Because what you actually see, <laughs> what you actually see from my drawings, as bad as they are, is not half as bad as what they start out as. Um, so anyway, right, answers to these then in three, two, one. Doom. There we go. I'm going to move myself back down because I look a bit weird in that box. Uh, there we go. Right. OK, so question number, uh, question number one. Number one was don't answer back. Number two, some of these were very clever, by the way. Uh, number two, a lot to answer for. Number three was fortune cookie. <clears throat> number four, <laughs> goatee. This is going. The sooner I finish this quiz, I'm in there. and I'm hoping my razor is charged and it's whoosh, whoosh, gone. Number five, wow, tall, dark and handsome. I'm not going to do it. Number six, Tower of London. Although someone that I saw on Twitter, someone has called me the, uh, tall, dark and handsome this evening. So, uh, well, along the lines of very handsome, I think it was, but I'll take that. Uh, number seven, excuse me, which is probably the words everyone's going to use when I go tall, dark and handsome. Oh, number eight, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And uh, number nine was irons in the fire. Okay, right, there we go. So that is um, something. That was your dingbats for you. That's your nine dingbats uh, for you. Uh, right, just put your answers down for those, and then we'll go through the final answers to the quiz this evening. Uh-oh, did I write you a tiebreaker? Oh, yes, of course I did. Oh, yes. I don't know why I suddenly sounded like the Churchill dog. Oh, yes. Anyway, right, let's give you the answers to the final 20 then. Here we go. Connections number one. According to the opening of Star Trek, what is said to be the final frontier? It is space. Space. The final frontier. Number two, what is the name of a strong armoured glove with a long loose wrist? It is gauntlet. Number three, which animal? A male is a jack and a female is a jenny. It is a donkey. Number four, what M describes someone who is frantically busy or hectic? It is manic. Number five, what word would someone shout to get you out of the way of an object hurtling towards your head? It is duck. Quack. Number six, death, destruction or some other terrible fate could be described as impending doom. Number seven, a loud explosive noise caused by the shockwave from an aircraft is called a sonic boom. Number eight, a small rocky body orbiting the sun. Sometimes called little planets are known as asteroids. Number nine, what P is the informal word for a strong, unpleasant smell? It is Pong. And Pong was one of the first examples of video games. So you had things like Duck Hunt in there, Sonic, uh, Donkey Kong, Manic Miner from the old Spectrum days. Uh, asteroids as well, uh, and as I said, just said then Pong as well, which was the first example of a video game. Well done if you got that. General knowledge number one: the drink of sake is made from fermenting rice. Number two: which board game has two sets of cards entitled Doctor and Specialist? It is Operation. Number three, popularly known as the pips, the Greenwich time signal consists of how many tones? It is six, it's five long ones, and then, uh, sorry, five short ones, and then one long one. So, dip, 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 
This is the five o'clock news. Uh, number four, the 1940 Olympic Games were due to be held in which country but cancelled owing to World War II? It was Japan. Number five, what piece can move in an L shape in chess? It is ninth. Number six, what is the colour of the cross on the flag of Denmark? It is white. It's red background with a white cross. Number seven, I'll try and pronounce this in what would probably be the right way. Winophobia is the theory of which drink? Would you believe it's wine? Number eight, pharaohs were the ancient rulers of which ancient dynasty? It's Egypt, the Egyptian rulers. Number nine, how long in feet was the ark built by Moses? I can't wait to come on social media tonight and find all the people who were questioning whether I've got this wrong uh, before I uh, before they had the chance to wait for the answer. Uh, the correct answer is there was no ark from Moses. It was Noah who built the ark. So no, it wasn't a typo for once. And I'm well known for it, but for once I wanted to trick you all. And finally, number 10, which chocolate bar had the slogan? Just enough to give your kids a treat. It was fudge. Finger of fudge is just enough to give your kids a treat. Right, top you scores up. Here is your tiebreaker question if you need it to separate the teams in 2010. Tetris gained a Guinness World Record for the most ported game onto how many platforms? Hmm. So in 2010, Tetris gained a Guinness World Record for the most ported game onto how many platforms? Now, the reason I've said 2010 when they achieved the Guinness World Record is because it will have changed probably quite a few times, but there's no official like figure. So that's why I've taken it from 2010. <clears throat> Just to clarify that bit. La -da -da -dee, la -da -da -da. Okay, your answer then in three. Remember, nearest to it gets the point. Two and one, it is 65. Which does make it one of the most popular games of all time. Tetris. I know it's a bit contentious on which has had higher sales figures, Tetris or uh, Minecraft, etc. Tetris tries to claim the record. Minecraft, Minecraft tries to claim the record. But there you go. Okie dokie, that is it. Thank you very much for joining us uh, for whenever you're watching this. Um, yeah, um, let us know your scores. There'll be a social post up somewhere. I will make sure it is up there. I'll get it scheduled uh, and make sure it's up there for you. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us. That is the end of tonight's quiz and the end of the quizzes for April. Would you believe it? That's four months of this crazy 2023 has already gone. Good news is, next time I do a quiz, it's going to be Justin Timberlake. If you don't know that meme, that won't make any sense to you. So uh, I'm just going to say thanks as always. Uh, that is it from me. I'll see you soon. Take care and stay safe.